Hello and welcome to another video from Kenton Kerman. Today we'll be continuing with the UFO theme. Um, I'm going to have a look at the shape of the UFO. I wasn't overly happy with it on the original, so I'm trying a few different components uh, to see if we can get a, a more representative shape. I thought I'd like to see the two different styles side by side and uh, on the face of it this seemed quite a simple thing to do but it turned out to be a bit more complicated than, uh, than I was expecting it to be. Although I quite like that original shape, it's not the shape of the UFO UFOs, if you see what I mean. So we're back in the uh, assembly building and just making a few minor tweaks to the new shape UFO before we finally decide to decouple the old one. But then I find that I haven't got a control wheel in a control unit in the uh, in the new ones. So I have to take it apart and put that in it. And uh, let me test fly. Don't know which direction is what. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're in the air now. Mm, once I've worked out which way is which way. You see what I mean? Uh, it's not too hard to fly in the general direction you want it to go in. Oof. Uh, although it's a bit short of thrust in that situation. And that situation as well, never mind. Okay. Let's try that again with more thrust to start with. And then carefully balance it. As we hover along the uh, road to the assembly building. Let's have a go at landing on the helipads. Ooh, steady. No, not too far that way. Back a bit. Steady. Oh, no, that way. Left a bit, left a bit. Alright. Gently, gently, gently. Oh, no. Didn't get the throttle off in time. <laughs> Let's try that again. Nice and gently. And down. Yes. Whew. Made it. Once I'd done that, I suddenly thought uh, it could be quite interesting to land it in the pond. I'm sure you've all come across it in your travels exploring the Kerbal Space Center. And uh, it's featured in a few of my other videos in various vehicles and craft trying to navigate through it. If we can get this landed in the pond. Oh. <laughs> oh, we lost something, but uh, it held together. So I thought what I had in mind would look better in the dark, so we time warped through to the night. And then we take off. Well, it didn't spin as fast as I thought it would. I'll cut the engines, you can see inside that we have lost one of the rotator engines. Must have been the bit of debris that came up in the pond, uh, but now we've lost a lot more. So here we are with a new one, and uh, let's see if we can get this one into the pond. Obviously doing it in fast forward at the moment, just to get close. Ooh, that was a bit too close. Alright, here we go. Let's bring it in. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we should probably try that again. And this time we're coming in much more slowly, making smaller corrections. And gently does it. Oh, almost there. No, go. A little bump off the side. Oh, shoot, down. There we go. Done. Alright, now we need to bring an interceptor into play. 
and I'd forgotten that I'd installed the mover mod um, which lets you move a craft around the planet so I drove all the way there and when I got there I forgot about the rocket sticking out the front and uh, smashed it off so we tried again and eventually we got there now I thought that's a little bit too close to the UFO to shoot it so I thought we'll find somewhere that's got a little bit of distance in it so I decided to park it there and we just need to be pointing at the pond a little bit better than that somewhere around there I think we do And again, we wait for nightfall. So we can see the UFO more clearly. Well, when he's got his lights on anyway. So we get that fired up. Uh, oh, something exploded and it's not flying very well. Okay, um, didn't do that before. So can I get this thing under control? It's not very uh, responsive. Oh, that's got that, that's all with that. Uh, right, which direction do I want to go in? Oh. Oh, we've still got the uh, rotating rockets running, so we'll turn those off. And can we get back to the interceptor oh nearly <laughs> no it looks like we missed it completely right let's get this going then um, do you want to get the UFO lifting off just about oh too much just get it on the minimum thrust that will send it upwards slowly and jump to the interceptor aim at the UFO and oh, oh it just went straight into the ground that was the problem I was having when I was testing before the rocket would drop and hit the ground before I had a chance to get going so I noticed the flagpole base has got a little platform around it so I thought if I can get the front wheel of the interceptor on there that will give me enough of an angle to uh, shoot the UFO without the rocket hitting the ground but the interceptor was reluctant to get on there so I kept trying a bit harder and a bit harder but it refused to go up the step so I tried a bit harder And, um, well, I thought the rocket exploded, but it hasn't. It's still sitting there. So, well, what do you do? Yeah, fire it, of course. <laughs> oh, I don't think it made it as far as the UFO. Let's have a look in slow-mo and see what it looks like. Now it fires the fuel tank it was bolted to backwards and then scuttles along the ground and destroys itself. So what I'm going to do instead is what I did with the uh, interceptor when I took it to the MUN and had the same problem. We just lower the rear landing gear and that should give us a bit of an angle. Let's set that as the control point. Oh it's not dark so uh, let's watch the sun go down. Oh, just, just missed an eclipse. Oh, there we go, nice and dark. So, we fire up the UFO. Lights, and... Oh, if, if you don't turn the stability control on, it spins really fast. Right, getting its sights and fire. Oh, 
<laughs> um, mm. Needless to say, I need to do that quicker. Alright, let's try that again. And start the engine, get it spinning, and lights, and just a little bit more thrust. Yeah, well, don't come on, boy. There we go, that's enough. Right. Oh, that's no, going a bit quick. Oh, it's it speeded up. I'm not going to get the missile set, and uh, it's long gone. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's try that again. Alright, so fire up the UFO with the lights on and this time I've got the stability control on and it's it, it counteracts most of the spin that the uh, rockets, the little rotating rockets have got and there we go, it's just lifting slowly and fire oh, I think that was close <laughs> um, okay so engines, lights, spinny thing Is it going to go up? Get ready just in case it does. I might have to go back and put a bit more thrust on it. Yeah, just a teeny weeny bit more. There it goes. And back to the cockpit as quickly as I can. There we go and fire. Oh, it doesn't usually uh, disintegrate like that, but no, we still missed it. Okay, let's give it another go. Got the engines, got the lights, and spinny thing. Come on, spinny thing. Why aren't you spinning? Just give me a little uh, helping hand. There you go, right back to the cockpit quickly. Come on, come on. And fire. Oh, ho, ho. I think that was the closest one yet. Right, this time. Get the timing right. So we got the engines on, but I've forgotten to turn the lights on. I'm concentrating on getting the thrust just right. Back to the cockpit. Come on, come on. And fire. Yay! Yeah, we hit it. <laughs> I think it knocked it off course very slightly. Uh, definite lack of explosions when you want them. Like it might be able to escape. No, nope. it's having problems. Yay, we shot down a UFO. Right, better go and investigate. A quick drive over there. And, oh, no, don't go down the bank. Oh, okay. Um, right, which engines have I got thrusting? Alright, let's go up. Try not to crash into it. Come on, bit more, bit more. Go on, you can make it. Go on, go on. Yeah, there we go, right. right turn around. There it is. Oh, don't crash into it. It'll probably explode. Right, we've just got time for a quick slow motion replay. And boom! Gotcha. It was just a shame I forgot to turn the lights on, really. Never mind, perhaps he was trying to make a stealthy escape in the dark without being seen. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check back soon. Um, I think we've got a hole in Moho to investigate, so uh, 
you won't want to miss that. <laughs>